All right, so I got a little screencast for you today. Uh, for the folks, if you're listening, you can actually uh, see this on our YouTube channel as well. Just uh, look for RecTech Media on YouTube if you want to subscribe. And uh, there's a great uh, thread on the secret sourcing group that I wanted to uh, run through with you today on uh, creative ways to source candidates and have the, uh, the, audio, uh, the community there chimed in. So I'm going to read uh, many of the comments here to kind of give you a sense of what people are thinking about sourcing and uh, creative sourcing particularly. Uh, Bianca Schneider asks, uh, hey everyone, question out of curiosity, what are some of the more creative ways you have been able to source candidates excluding LinkedIn? So not not counting LinkedIn, right? You guys all use that, of course, but uh, where else can you find candidates? Well, here we go. So let's see here. Uh, wedding sites that list bios of the wedding party. Uh, try outsourcing partners. Uh, Dean DeCosta, sourcing guru, says, uh, okay, Cupid, Pokemon game, uh, YouTube, Geo recruiting, uh, to name a few. Um, let's see here. Uh, uh, how, Dean asks, uh, or Deborah asks, how did you do it through a Pokemon game? Uh, Dean says, uh, let's see here. So there are two ways. One is a techie requires serious time and social detective work. And the other one I just did with my son. He wrote a blog about it um, over on sourcegun.com about Pokemon. I won't go through that, but uh, that, that's a really curious one. Uh, let's see here. This guy, uh, Jody says, try the just married section of local newspapers. They tell you name, job, and location. Uh, Cindy Davis says, in the not, match.com. So there are a bunch of dating uh, references on this thread. Um, and uh, I even chimed in on this. Uh, you know, the Bumble has a, a networking portion of its app. Uh, Bumble, the dating app, and you actually go in there and do networking, choose networking as the function, and you may be able to source from that. Uh, some people, a lot of people in there will put their job titles, so check that out from a, a dating standpoint. Um, I, I suppose you could do it on Match.com if people list their um, list their uh, job titles and stuff, but not sure how much you can search in there around on job titles, but that's interesting. So it looks like a lot of recruiters have tried dating sites, and I wonder how um, successful that's been. Uh, a guy named Massimo says, I once, once I tracked a potential candidate on a European traveler's website where he was uh, where he, wrote, he was planning to move to China. I even found his job ads on Chinese websites offering private English lessons. But uh, eventually he found an I found an article on a Chinese newspaper saying he had a heart attack at the airport before boarding a plane back to Europe. Sad story. Okay, well, that, that one didn't work out. Brian Fink says Airbnb, uh, Amazon shopping lists, Google Docs. Okay. Uh, Kara O'Neill says tutoring websites are a great place to find people with specific skills. Uh, movie credits, one person adds. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, Tom says track someone's Facebook page for check-ins, as I saw he was a frequent flyer. I had his phone number for one of the offices in a, in City B, but he never responded. Once he checked in flying from City A to City B, I calculated the time it, I took him from landing to get to the office, and my phone call was the first one he got when he stepped into his office in City B. Okay. Uh, Kai says TikTok. Um, Mark says I saw source of candidate on Twitch, a streaming platform. Uh, Michael Rasmus in the business card bowl. That's interesting. Uh, if you go to networking events, which are kind of few and far between these days, but uh, the uh, business card bowl is interesting. If you're a recruiter, I suppose you could uh, just grab a handful there and read them before you walk into the event. <clears throat> uh, Michelle says Reddit. Uh, Deborah says Discord and Slack. Don't forget Twitter out there. Uh, my last guest, Chloe Rada, was I found her job on Twitter, and um, Twitter is great for sourcing as well. I think. Uh, Garrett Chan says I followed someone's Twitter, responded to where they uh, wanted people to come to check out a library event for their wife. I responded, I'm packing up the family. See you soon. We showed up early. It was near the cake when the wife asked me how I heard about the event. Pointed at the engineer and said, "Oh, I saw his tweet." He looked over, recognized me, and that's how I became friends with a compiler or manager at Google. <laughs> Interesting uh, story there, Garrett. 
let's see here. Uh, Katarina says mixed couples, Facebook group, a lot of foreigners with languages. Um, Steve Levy, tear off sheets at supermarkets, printed coffee sleeves, distributed to local delis. By the way, he says these hyper local strategies work best when placed near target companies. Uh, Jennifer Tharp says, we did a ton of local activations at AT&T, pizza boxes, sponsors of band, food truck, coffee sleeves, yard games at food trucks and, and fairs. ROI and these were, were not good. Uh, programmatic digital radio and YouTube pre rads were far easier to execute and had better results. Okay. Uh, Lee Candiotti says, Hinge, Match, Raya, Bumble, these are all uh, dating sites. All are full of people with truly remarkable experiences who aren't who they claim to be. Uh, here we go. Commenters on Reddit is one. Uh, Michael says the old flyer at a competitor site parking lot under car wipes. Recommends sparingly, he says. I've only seen this once and it worked at the, uh, and the good old flyer at surrounding restaurants and shops near to a competitor's headquarters. Irina Shamiva says closed social networks, Reddit, Slack, Telegram, Discord. Uh, GitHub for uh, Mike, Mike Cohen here. Go to top contributors. Use link gopher Chrome extension to pull all their URLs on off the page. Or use uh, G Sheets split function to pull out their names and load usernames uh, or or statement into seek out or human predictions to find their uh, correlating profiles and LinkedIn URLs. Brett Fig, X ray sourcing, LinkedIn, boom, loop all found. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a great tool called uh, Recruitum. Um, I think it's recruitin.net, uh, I think is the little uh, website you can do it on. That kind of do, does Boolean searches for you. I'll put a link in the, uh, the description for that. Patty Yards, I recently filled a position open for a year with a contest winner, two specialty sales roles by hunting. And 400% over industry results using same tools differently than everyone else. A former colleague of mine used FarmersOnly.com to find talent. Uh, I will never, ever forget that, uh, Ryan says. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, that's uh, I think that's all of the comments here. So um, let me just look through this list once more. Make sure I got them all. Trying to think what else I did for sourcing. I, I, I mail letters to people as well, just trying to, uh, you know, find if I found somebody on LinkedIn, you know, I tried to find their home address, maybe send some letters. Didn't work, but that it was worth a try. Um, uh, you know, Facebook, of course, I think is also a decent place to source. Facebook groups, you know, if you go in, uh, you can search locally for lo local job search groups. So you just joined in there. Um, you, can't, you can't do much job title searching anymore on Facebook, but uh, definitely look in some of the uh, the, uh, the you know industry industry based job search groups on Facebook as well uh, to uh, to source some people. Um, and you can also buy lists too. Uh, there's a company called uh, uh, Lead Candy, um, and I've bought lists on there before of like you know. 10,000 HR executives, for example, and uh, they may be able to help you as far as going out there and creating a list based on your criteria. And uh, the emails I got off that list from Lead Candy were at least 80% good, so they did a pretty good job with the quality uh, there. And uh, I think they got a lot of them on LinkedIn, but um, again, if you're looking for kind of a mass sourcing effort, try and buy a list like that and check out Lead Candy um, online. So Well, that will do for this uh, episode of the RecTech Podcast. Be sure to follow us on the socials, Facebook, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, via the at RecTech Media handle. Uh, to uh, see every podcast, video, and blog we publish. Thanks for listening or watching, everyone. And uh, here is LeadCandy.io, just for the, uh, the viewers there. Um, and check that out. Uh, they do have curated lists as well you can, you can uh, use. So we... Maybe uh, maybe useful from a sourcing standpoint. So I want to throw that out there as another idea for you as well. So again, thanks for listening or watching, everyone. And remember, always be recruiting. <laughs>